welcome back to another CNET video on WordPress. Today I'll be showing users how to change the appearance of their website via the WordPress themes and menu options. First to get started, what we want to do is log into our WordPress dashboard. From here, on the left side, we want to choose the Appearance button. Once we're in Appearance, we are brought to the Manage Theme section, and it will bring up the theme and all the different options we can actually do with it. By default, the 2010 theme is installed by WordPress, and we are only given a couple different options down here to choose from. So let's get started with the default theme, and then I'll show you how to install new themes. First, the option we're given is the widgets. In here, we are given a couple different options of posting uh, on our website, and what this widget area refers to is, let me show you, is this area right here on our website. We can make this be anything we want or we can not even have this at all. To change to different widgets all we have to do is simply drag and drop out of the primary widget area and if we wanted to add something it's just that simple. Let's add that and then let's just say we want to save it and we go back to our website and as you'll notice the calendar has been added and the search feature has been removed. A lot of different themes have different widgets that you can mess around with, but this is the default way of messing around with widgets. Next up would be the menus. In here, we can actually choose what kind of menus that are showing up on our website. For example, uh, right now we only have home in our menu, and for site navigation purposes, it's a really good idea to link to other pages that we create or to different uh, relevant topics or you can even link to a different outside website. To create a new menu all you have to do is click on the create new menu button. We have to name it first so we'll call it sample. Okay and once we create the menu we can actually do a couple different things like choose the different pages, different custom links, all that sort of stuff. So, for example, if we want to enter, enter in a custom link, we'll do then we want to have a label for it on the search or on our menu bar, so we'll call it call it search Google. Once we're done naming it and adding a URL, all we need to do is click on the add to menu. Once Google is added to our menu, all we need to do is if we want to switch to our sample menu, click on the paid primary navigation pull down menu and choose our sample window. Click on save. And once we save it, we can pull up our website and you'll notice that the search Google menu that we just created is added right there. Next thing that we can change is the background to our WordPress website. Currently we have no background uploaded, but we can actually choose different images from our computer. It's pretty easy to upload images from our computer. All we need to do is click on the Browse button and choose a picture from our local computer and then click Upload. We can also choose to make it a solid color by either typing in the hex number for it or just selecting a color on the color wheel. Up here is going to be given a preview of what the background looks like. So once we change it to let's just say red, we can click save it, go to our website, and you'll notice the background is red. Next thing that we can change is the header of our website. The header is this little picture right here that shows up right here. Uh, generally we want to have this as like a company logo or we can choose to have no header at all. By default we do have some WordPress default images we can add as our header or we can choose to add our own. Down here is where we can remove our header or we can restore an old header image. Once we're done, we click on Save Changes to save the changes to our header. Next is a seldomly used editor tool. Down here is where we can actually do uh, coding of our website. So for example, if there's a few different options that you can't change within those five different uh, areas, we can mess around with the .css files and the .php files to make your website a little more custom. 
Well, that about does it for the appearance aspect of WordPress. Please stay tuned for more WordPress videos.